Hey guys, it's Carl Brown from GuitarLessons365.com. Today we're going to learn how to play some Credence Clearwater Revival with Up Around the Bend. So this one's got some tricky stuff in it, but it's not, you know, it's not overly difficult. So hopefully you'll be able to get through it pretty quick. Uh, we're in standard tuning here. We're going to start with that opening lick. All right, so tricky parts here. Hit the open D, slide into the 11th fret on the G. Now you can just hold the whole chord, but the notes will ring together there, and that's not how it's actually played on the album, so making it sound like that when this doesn't sound right. So you want to kind of slide in the 11, over to the 10th fret on the high E, then roll that finger over to the 10th on the B, back to the 11 on the G, and then back to the 10 on the B. Then do that again with the open D. So make sure you let that open D keep ringing. Now the open A string, and the same thing, but basically at the fifth fret. So don't do that bar. Just let roll it like that, and then back to the D. So we have this. So that's also going to start the solo as well, solo section too, coming up. So from there we go to the verse. Now the verse is... Alright, so what he's doing there, he's just basically holding a, a D chord, a D power chord really. Uh, kind of an open D, then second fret on the G, and third fret on the B. Just kind of just do an eighth note strum on it. And then you can be laying your fourth fret here on the G string, and then back to the second fret of so width. Then we're going to go to our A chord. And we're kind of doing the same thing here. Open A string, and then you're barring across the A across the second, third, and fourth strings. And as you're playing that, you're doing that down up strong, you're going to be laying the fourth fret down there on the D string and letting go. Just keep that down the entire time though. And then we're going to go back to the D, at the very end, hit those chords in a quick, and that's just a quick hammer from two to four on the G, and then that third fret on the B. So, so all together. All right, then the chorus, which is just a G chord. Really kind of a G. Regular G chord, then a D major with an F sharp at the bass. So just take your thumb over here and lay it on that F sharp here, uh, the second fret on the low E string. And strum all the strings to the A chord and back. And the second time through it, you kind of hold that A longer than it's back into the verse. the exact same thing and back to the chorus. All right, so then we have that solo section, the band drops out and the guitar just continues. So it's the same thing we did earlier and then it goes into the, the actual guitar solo. 
which sounds like this. Alright, so we have the open G string, then hammer 2 to 4 on the G, on the G, and then we have the 3rd fret on the B string. Then you're going to have a 5th fret bend at the, on the B string. Then you do a kind of a release and pull off to the, uh, you kind of pick it and release, pull off to the 3rd fret, then the 4th fret on the G, and then down to the second fret on the uh, the G string. So we have this. Then you're gonna pick the fourth fret, bend it up a whole step, and as you get up there, you're gonna hit the the high E string open. Then pick the fourth fret again and release it, and back down to the second fret. So. We had this all together. And then do that again. And then after you've done it twice, go back to the fourth fret and pick. Now, with the pick, you're going to pick that third, the G string and then the high E string. Pick it with your middle finger and just pick those two together. So I'm picking the high E and the G together while doing that bend. Down to the second fret on the G and then, and then you're back to the verse. Alright, so there's all, another guitar lick at the very end of the song. It sounds like this. I'm sure you know that. So we're going to do here uh, the 10th fret on the G. going to hammer 10 to 11 over to 10 on the beat. So we have this. Again, then again. Then you're going to end the first half was just the uh, 11th fret on the G. So we have this. Then do the lick again. Twice, then back down to 11, and then 12 on the D. So just repeat all that. and all that good stuff. All right, so it's a pretty simple one. Hopefully you guys can get through it pretty quickly. And I'll see you guys again soon for guitarlessons365.com. Bye-bye.